Hello everybody, Bass is Fang here and welcome to this week's episode of Manic Flash Mondays. Before I get started, you may notice this weird contraption sitting in front of me that is not usually here, and that is my new microphone setup. It is tentative. So far it's been working for me, but if I find out it's just not going to work, I will be changed, but that's what this is in front of me. Don't worry about it. This week we're playing a game called Gravity Trails, which was made for a Ludum Dare called Small Worlds, I believe. Um... And it reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy as far as gravity physics go. So the gist of this game is you have a letter. Oh man, you must have dropped this before you got the chance to deliver it. Looks like you'll have to go ahead and find a post box. So that is basically the gist of the game. Arrows, arrow keys move, up arrow jumps, and uh, there's gravity. So that is the basic gist of the mechanics. For those of you that watch my videos religiously, you know that I prefer to use the space bar to jump instead of the up arrow key, but whatever. This should work. It's not. It doesn't seem to be super intensely time-based, so hopefully it won't be a problem. So just like that. Yeah. And then these are spikes, I'm gonna guess. Spikes, mountains, something like that. If I touch them, I die. I go back to my last checkpoint. So that's the gist. And there we go, and this here I believe is a checkpoint. It can get a little disorienting uh, which way you're moving with the left and right arrow keys, because here on the top of the planet, at least top from the perspective we're looking at it from, if I move left I go left, and if I move right I go right. But if we go all the way down to the bottom and I want to move left, I actually go right, and if I want to move right, I actually go left. So basically the left and right are from the perspective of the top of the planet. So, jump, nope, don't hit the, that's what I was going to try and not to do, but that's okay. And jump, and see I got confused because it doesn't go the right way. Alright, jump this way around, there we go. Ooh, ooh, a little extra, little extra movement in there. It, uh, woo, 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 and up, oh, wait, wait, and up, oh, nope, we gotta wait for it again. This time's gonna be the charm, and jump! Ta da! Alright, don't get stuck in the middle, because that's where the spikes are gonna kill you. And jump! Yay, checkpoint! I'm assuming it's just one level with a lot of obstacles? Maybe? Not sure about that, but nope! And I got some confusion there, which way the arrows were facing. No, run away. Oh, that was so close. Oh, uh, no. Jump. Son of a bitch. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, left. And then when we're going to jump again, we need to press right. And we jump. And checkpoint. Okay. Check, 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 check. There we go. So, I don't know what this is. Is this going to be a planet at some point? Uh, come over here. Jump. 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 And button. Bish. That was quite the uh, intense boom sound there. Farts. Uh, run, 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 jump. Oh dear. Oh no. Run, 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 and jump. There we go. I knew I'd make it eventually. Oh, checkpoint. Oh, that was close. Okay. There's something about these really like classic video game sounds. I'm sure they're public domain because I hear them in every indie game ever. Well, I shouldn't say every indie game ever, but I hear them in just about every indie game that's pixelated. And I don't know. I, there's what? I thought I could make that jump. I just like them. I like the the sort of classic 8-bit gaming sound effects. They're just nostalgic, I guess. I don't know. Jump. There we go. There we go. Ah, damn. How do I do that? Is that like a race? Okay. And farts. No, uh, no. Don't get stabbed by the stabby stab, son. Oh, I can jump over. Oh, I didn't know I could jump that high. That was an accident, too, because I just pressed the wrong arrow. Oh, come on. All right, well, if you go play this, link is in the description below, of course. If you go play this for yourself, when you jump, make sure you hold down the up arrow. Otherwise, you don't get the maximum jump. And you get screwed over. All right, jump. And jump. There we go. Didn't even need to jump over the little sun thing. Okay. Interesting. This is going to force me to jump. Aww. I thought I could make that. I should have been able to make that. Nope. Too late. 
<laughs> I didn't even jump over it. Just had to be quick enough. All right. Jump. Ah, damn it. These puzzles are getting trickier. Ouch. There we go. Okay. Then we jump. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong arrow keys. I'm not going to make that. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. Give me, give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's actually a lot of, like, I don't want to say dimensions, but, like, movement to keep track of. It's been throwing me off. I'll BRB when I finally make this jump. There we go. I did it. I didn't even have to jump. I just had to dodge, I guess, which was really tricky in that number of dimensions. Ah, crap. How do I do this? There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Come on. There we go. And then this way. And then you gotta time your. Well, I shouldn't say time. There's really not a time limit. You gotta aim your jumps properly. Oh, mailbox! Mine, 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 mine. Woo! Rocket mail. In the little world off in the distance. Boop! Yay! Thanks for playing! Made in 48 hours for the Ludum Dare 38, a small world, powered by Game Maker Studio. I do love Game Maker, I actually own that, but I've never successfully made anything with it. But Game Maker is a great engine. I don't know why I'm advertising for Game Maker, they don't pay me. Um, so anyway, that was, you know, really fun. It didn't take very long, despite me being really, really bad at it. So it's definitely a nice, quick playthrough. If you want to go check it out for yourself, the link is in the description below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll get videos like this throughout the week. Make sure you check out the Facebook page and the Twitter feed. You'll find links for those in the description below. And I post in both those places every time a video is uploaded, so it's a good way to keep up with what is going on on the channel. Other than that, make sure you click on annotations at the end of this video to see other videos that I've done. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye!